Juneteenth is going down in a major way. We're going to call this one black on black crime. Because this morning, Tank Davis woke up with murder on his mind. I wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. He's sending them slugs at Frank Martin, and he say he going to feel his pain. We're going to talk about what Javante Davis had to say. The warning that he sent out to Frank Martin this morning. But before we do that, make sure you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub to the channel. Yeah, Javante woke up this morning with it on his mind. Now, y'all know Tank Davis and Frank Martin is going down Juneteenth weekend. Now, I don't know if it's June the 15th or it's June the 22nd because we hear conflicting reports. We heard David Benavidez said it's confirmed for June the 15th. Now we hear reports that it's going to be on June the 22nd because Tank Davis wants to step back and let Megan Thee Stallion do her thing because I guess on that day to June the 15th, Megan Thee Stallion, she's showing out and she's doing it big, you know, um, in Houston because the fight going to be in Houston. We know that part. I'm going to be in the building. Shit going to be lit. It's cracking. But since we're talking about the fight card, let's talk about the fight card real quick before we get into what Tank Davis had to say to Frank Martin. Now, we already know the main event, which is fire. I like this fight a lot. I don't think that Frank Martin deserved it. You know what I'm saying? With everything that went down with him and Shakur. But hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but the fight card, man, we got David Benavidez versus Alexander Volstic. And a lot of people, they don't know who Volstic is. And that just show y'all that y'all don't really know shit about boxing. Because Volstic was that guy at light heavyweight probably from like 2015 to 2018, 19. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that ended Adonis Stevenson's career and basically, you know, gave him brain damage. That ain't nothing that I'm going to clap to. That's just, you know, what comes with the sport of boxing sometimes, unfortunately. But uh, Vostok was that guy until he ran into Bitter Beef. And to this day, Vostok was Bitter Beef's toughest fight. So he could fight. He did take like five or six years off. So am I saying that he the same destroyer that he was at one point in time? Nah, but he's still a threat. And so him and David Benavidez, that's supposed to be like the co-main event, man. That's going to be fire. And then not only that, on the undercard, we got Ryu Valenzuela versus Edwin De La Santos in the rematch. And the first time they fought, man, De La Santos put Ryu to sleep. So Ryu, he's trying to come and get his get back. And then we hear rumors that it could be Demetrius Andrade versus David Morrell. Yeah, that's going to be fire. Or Jamal Charlo versus Caleb Plant. Everybody want to see that fight. But honestly, I don't know if they're going to put that fight on this card because, I mean, that's a pay-per-view in itself right there. You got to let them shine on their own. They got a big-ass feud, and I don't think that they should put them on the undercard of nobody. That's a pay-per-view, like I said. But, man, this card is finna be stacked on Juneteenth. Uh, weekend, right? It's either going to be the weekend before Juneteenth or the weekend right after Juneteenth. I don't know, but it's going to be stacked. You know what I'm talking about? And I can't wait. But Frank Martin and Javante Davis is going down. And for those who don't know, maybe you've been living in the rock. They have an ongoing little feud from the sparring that they had years ago. Now, Frank Martin, he came out recently and he talked about that spar. And he said he put hands on Tank, really. He said it was real good work, but he said he hurt Tank, you know? And he said he know he hurt Tank because Tank got the hold and then grabbing and trying to grapple and shit, trying to hold on for dear life. Now, I'm just reporting what that man said before y'all get in my comments and get to crying. You know what I'm talking about? I know how some of y'all mad fan fanatics do. I'm just reporting what Frank Martin said. I wasn't there. Now, do I believe what Frank Mars said? Yeah, I believe he probably, you know what I'm saying, stunned Tank. Because at that time, nobody really knew who Frank Martin was. So they got him in the ring to spar. 
and you know he did his thing maybe tank wasn't prepared for him maybe tank just thought he was some other rudy poop and you know man got in there and held his own but tank davis said that he hurt frank mark he said he put hands on frank but frank said he capping so the good thing about all of this it don't really matter who you believe or who you don't believe we gonna get to see it in the ring with eight ounce gloves this time so my question is can frank martin hurt tank with eight ounce gloves on can tank catch frank martin and hurt him with eight ounce gloves on because i really feel that if tank can catch him with some shit that he don't see frank martin might go to sleep but i hate to say that frank can't hurt tank you know what i'm saying frank he not a one punch knockout artist but he do got respectable power and he got footwork and footwork is something that tank haven't had to deal with inside of a boxing ring under the lights yeah he sparred fighters that can box and have footwork but he ain't never fought nobody under the professional ranks that have those attributes so this is gonna be a different look for tank and of course it ain't even no need for me to say it frank martin ain't never been in there with nobody near the level of tank so this is going to be a great fight for both fighters, but it's a dangerous fight for both of these fighters. And I do believe that Javante Davis's team took this fight because they didn't see Frank Martin as a threat. But Frank Martin, yeah, he definitely a threat. You dig what I'm saying? And Tank know that. And Tank Davis is in tip top condition already right now. That's why he on Twitter. And, or X or whatever y'all want to call it And yeah he didn't delete it to post already Because that's what Tank do He'll tweet some fire shit and then he delete it But he already been on one today Like I said What he got on his mind Yeah he got it on his mind this morning And he let Frank Martin know And he let Frank Martin's fans know You want to see a dead body? Oh yeah you know, y'all know the infamous line from uh, Boys in the Hood. And he posted the picture, you know what I'm saying, with Doughboy and Ricky and all of them when they was kids standing over that dead body. And what he telling y'all is that's finna be Frank Martin come June 22nd. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see it? Show up to Houston on June the 22nd. Man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Um, because this is a real one. Um, a lot of people been asking for it, and this is what we got. Do I think Frank Martin is the best at 135? No, I don't. But you know, he one of them. He definitely one of them. I'm gonna give him his props, even though I didn't like how he did and how he was moving with Shakur, pulling out the fight and everything. But hey, man, look what he got. Look what he got on the back end. I guess the joke is on all of us, cause he came out with a bigger fight. Now, is he gonna win? That's a different story. But if he do win, imagine what this would do for Frank Mars' career. And then Tank Man, he already at the top. All he could do is continue to rise higher. But yeah, man, <laughs> once again, Tank Davis, he woke up with it on his mind this morning. And yeah, let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all think this gonna turn out? Are y'all excited for this fight? Are y'all gonna show up live? Y'all gonna buy it on pay-per-view? Give me y'all predictions in the comments. And y'all already know how I do. Tell you talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. Into the right with the bass up loud. I slide, slide. Choking on that needle. Two miles per hour. So everybody stay <laughs>